Hey, in today's video, we installed a UTV winch on our Jeep Liberty. And now, the moment of truth, will it work? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna test the limits and install less than capable winch on the 2003 Jeep Liberty. To catch you up to speed a little bit, we installed this JK Stinger bumper, but in doing so, we actually, we made the bumper quite a bit smaller knowing that we are gonna install a smaller winch for this Jeep Liberty. If you haven't seen the video on the JK bumper install, make sure you check that video out right here. And if you have seen that video, let me show you what I'm thinking about for a winch for this Liberty. Harbor Freight had their winches on sale. So we went over and picked one of those up. But we didn't pick up the 12,000 pound winch. We went and picked up the UTV winch. In theory, this winch should work on a Jeep Liberty. A Jeep Liberty weighs about 4,000 pounds. This winch is capable of 5,500 pounds. So in most situations, this winch should work especially for the price, I thought it'd be worth testing the limits on this 5,500 winch to see if it could pull the Jeep Liberty when we get it stuck out in the woods. We will install this Apex 5500 on the Liberty, and then we're gonna go out in the woods and see if this guy will pull us up a hill. We better get to work. But we'll get to taking this grill off, putting the winch on there, mounting some holes, and then we'll unbox this guy, see what we gotta do for some wiring here. And then take the Liberty out in the woods and see what we can do with the new toy. unboxing this this is good to know already because it comes with a winch mount which we don't necessarily need but I was thinking about using the fair lane because that slot's gonna be too big not sure if it's gonna work this guy actually comes with a winch plate good to know because I bought one so you don't have to buy that guy it already comes with one. Wow, I'm already starting to question in this. Look how little this fairling is. <laughs> it's so small. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. You're going to have to follow along because we're going to put this out in the woods and see if this little winch can pull us up the hill. The old 5500 fits like it's supposed to be in there. Get the little baby fair lead. <laughs> well, I think I created uh, more work for myself than I wanted to. I added this plate that came with the winch. Get this out. Cut this section out here. Uh, I thought that we could use this plate for the fair lead, and then we could <coughs> slide it in there, and then we'd have double strength too when we bolt it in. Plus, I'd have the bolt pattern. But now I got to create a new hole, 
And when I set this winch in there, it's hitting one of those leads on that bumper. I believe it's gonna be stronger by doing it this way, but like I said, more work. More cutting. Well, we did some more cutting. We are totally committed now to that 5,500 winch. We've got a big old hole on our bumper. Now, let's see if the plate fits. And I notched a little bit off the top here. By golly, look at this. It fits. I don't know about you guys, but that looked pretty good. I'll just come in here with the welder. We'll weld this all together here. So I'll we'll have to drill some holes um, in the bumper from the plate down in. Well, I did it again. I changed the design of that fair lead again. Well, we cut this section out. I didn't like how this little plate sat in front. Now that's more of a butt weld. So now we butt weld this in, clean this up with a flapper disc, fill that hole in, get a nice bead around here, and then, you know, spray it. And I think it'll look much better. And now we can bust the welder out and burn that plate in. The new plate burned in. I think we'll like the results much better this way. I like the flush look a lot better than if we would have lapped that bracket over the existing hole. So now we'll probably call it a night. We'll uh, spray it with some rubberized undercoating to finish the bumper out. This is the hardware that comes with it. I think we'll upgrade these to a little bit longer bolt since we added that extra plate. Plus, we'll go with some grade eight bolts. So we'll get those in the morning and get that 5,500 mounted on this Liberty. Well, we got that 5,500 winch mounted on the bumper. We also took the time and installed the relay and then we installed the on and off switch. Let me show you. So we mounted the on and off switch here on the battery tray. Clickety clickety. Hooked it up to our Jeep cables. Um, I, someday I will probably change that. Use the bigger um, bolt here. Same with the ground. We did the same. And then we mounted the relay on the inner fender. These are all color coded to the relay so you know which wire goes where. Coming up to the front, there she be. We welded that bracket in there. We cut out the ends. Now the plate sits in there. We got the hook on. Now we just have to finish installing the switch for the inside the cab and the hand control. We also need to probably cut up some of this grill which we've already cut for the bumper, but we'll have to mount the grill back on the front. I'm not sure what that looks like yet after we uh, have to kind of fit the grill with the new winch in there. 
Well, the mailman just arrived. We needed to order a special tool to get that winch mounted on that front bumper. Let's see if what we ordered has arrived. The front bolts on that winch on that bumper are so close to the inner bumper, I needed to order a ratchet wrench, 13 millimeter, uh, with the flex head on it. Let's see if that is the ticket. Well, that was annoying. I got all four bolts in that winch but man, that last one was giving me grief. Well, we got the winch functioning. Got the power hooked up. This is an accessory wire, so it should be on a switch. Right now, I got it in the fuse panel. I'll put a switch on there. I was thinking about hooking it up through into the fuse box inside, but I might just put a switch out here. We got the power on the outside. Got the switch mounted on the inside. Check it out. I'm gonna like that switch on the inside. Well, we got the grill cut up. There she be. Not the prettiest hack job on that grill, so there might be a grill mod coming in the near future for this Liberty. Now, it's time to take this Liberty out and see if this 5500 will pull the Liberty up a hill. Dead pull. Comment below if you think this winch is gonna work on this Liberty. Hey, we made it to the testing grounds. We're gonna test out this winch. This switch inside is real convenient. about this Liberty you put her in four low in first gear we just crawl right down this big old steep hill hey look at no feet ma
Well, we did it. We installed the UTV winch from Harbor Freight on the Jeep Liberty. And we proved that it works off-roading on the hills. Only time will tell if that 5500 winch will be suitable for this Liberty. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.